Hi, I will show you how to model this curved spring. Um, let's open a new part in millimeters. Open the sketch on the XY plane. Create a horizontal line that is um, dimensioned with a 200. Um, then there is a vertical line which is um, 150 millimeters. I'll make both lines construction geometry and start at the origin, go up. Um, draw a tangent arc. Um, line, make that tangent with the arc, make that line um, horizontally, give it um, an angle of 60 degrees, and that arc is at 115. All right. Finish the sketch and create um, a plane normal to the origin to the line. Sketch on that with um, an arc. What's the dimension of that arc? Uh, let me see. Um, oops. That arc is thirty eight. Um, make it identical coincident with the origin go to the um, sweep command use the surface option um, and select um, the curve all right so we got that um, let, let's have a look at the sketch, make it visible, start another sketch on that work plane. There's going to be just a line, a little bit longer than the radius. Make that coincident with that one. Maybe make it vertically. Finish the sketch. Make another uh, sweep. Um, select as profile that line as curve that one. Now go to the twist. We want 40 coils times 360 degrees. Accept that. Now we get two surface bodies here. The first one and the second one. We start a 3D sketch um, and use the intersection curve command. Um, we pick our um, second surface body and then our pipes. All right. 
we get the 3D curve. We finish the sketch. We don't need to see those surface bodies anymore. Neither the work plane. And um, not even the sketch. We create a work plane um, normal to that curve at any end point, really. Create a sketch on that plane. Diameter of that spring is two millimeters. Um, and coincident of with that curve. Now um, we can create the solid sweep. We get the profile, and again, we take this curve, and it's done. 